Hello everyone, so I am going to be doing my crystal collection video, I'm going to do an updated one, and I am just going to get right into it. So these shelves I got from Ikea, and then I have these lights that I got from Amazon, and you just, or you can, you do have this little, um, remote control instead so that way you can turn them on remotely but i don't have the lights on this shelf or the shelf at the very bottom there because i don't i haven't gotten around to actually getting them so but as you can see there's a very big difference so because the shelves can be quite dark so i'm going to go through each shelf and um show you each crystal so i have them all organized by color as best as i can there are a few um crystals aren't together for instance my white crystals there aren't down here because they don't fit so and also weight thing weight pro differences as well i didn't want to put really heavy crystals on one shelf in case it went <clears throat> so yeah i'm gonna start with this shelf up here this is quite dark this one because i don't i don't have any lights but the back here i have some crystal photographs that i got from um georgia or keep it g on instagram so that's one of her little macros i can't remember what that macro is of but i stuck it there and then i have um a painting from moon magic sun on instagram and then a artwork from uh witch casket so and then i have these three sanderson sister troll dolls these are from luna enchantments also on instagram so this is sarah and she's got the crystal crown purple crystal crown red roses and the potion that they uh, extracted from Danny, or tried to. Then we've got Winnie, who has a purple crown, um, purple roses with some green, and she has her book. And then we have Mary, who has her little m microwave, what? Vacuum cleaner, <laughs> a microwave, and a green rose crown. I actually asked uh, specifically to make like give each Sanderson sister the core like a a different color but I wanted them to all match so I wanted Winnie to have Sarah Sarah's color and things like that for her crown I thought it was kind of cool so I'm going to move these out of the way so I can show you without knocking them down and then I'll get into the crystals on this shelf here so starting over at this side I've got, and the back there is the Eolite Cluster. Uh, here I have a Rainbow Moonstone Sphere on a um, Dragon Sphere Holder. Thought it was pretty awesome looking. And it's very flashy. Really, really enjoy Rainbow Moonstone. Uh, at the front here, I have a Rainbow Moonstone Heart. That's quite flashy. Um, a Rainbow Moonstone Pebble or Palm. And another Rainbow Moonstone Pebble, it's a lot flashier. The front here of these three babies. Um, this is black obsidian, black tourmaline, and then a bla uh, gold chain obsidian bracelet. These were all from Crystal Jersey Advent Calendar. So, uh, black tourmaline is a fantastic stone for protection. 
it's really really good at absorbing negative energy however it can break quite easily because of that and it needs cleansed constantly it's very good to put above your door frame or beside your front door or beside your room especially if you do share living accommodation that way people coming into your room in particular don't bring any negative bad juju to your room where you sleep and stuff like that here i have larva kite which is kind of it's like black black labradorite really it's basically black and white labradorite and i have another one here it's a little bit more flashy and then this one here is numite and it's very similar but it's not as uh the, f the shilling which is the little reflective pieces that kind of look like a mirror, um, aren't as big. But this looks like a hot stone you put on people's backs for hot stone massages. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is um, what they use. So Back here, I've got a Howlite tower right here. Howlite is fantastic for sleeping. Really, really good for sleep. I highly recommend Howlite. The two in the middle here are tourmalinated quartz, so it has all the properties of black tourmaline, but with quartz it amplifies the protectiveness, so it's tourmaline on steroids in a way. And then here I have two rainbow moonstone pieces, I have a tower at the back and an obelisk, but neither of those two pieces are very flashy, so that's why I'm not really lifting them. Um, back here, I have a selenite unicorn horn, selenite egg that kind of looks like a pickled onion, and I know what pickled onions look like, my grandfather used to eat them all the time. Here I have a selenite wand that I kind of use as a metal, you know how in airports they go over you with that baton looking thing and to detect anything? That's what I do with this, especially whenever I leave the house, it really helps. And then I have a heart and a palm stone. So that is my selenite. Down here I have some jewellery. I've got three crystal bracelets. So I've got a black one, a white one, and a more pinky looking one. And they're all on top of this coaster that I got um, from My Secret Santa. But the actual maker, her Instagram handle is Stella Star Resin. I, uh, I do know that she was planning on changing her name, so I'm not sure, but I know the Stella star is definitely still in it, but I'm not sure if the resin part of it is still um, active in, on her Instagram handle, but she's a very good friend of mine as well. Um, here we have all my green crystals, so um, I don't know whether to go back to front or front to back. Um, maybe you should go front to back, huh? Yeah, so here is a piece of raw ruby and fuchsite, which is very, very flaky. It feels like straight up tree bark. It's really, really rough and very shiny. Here I have a moss agate tower, um, green fluorite, um, nephrite jade sphere, two kimbaba jasper hearts, a piece of malachite that kind of looks like a frog sitting down, serpentine heart. Here I have a raw piece of emerald, a raw piece of fluorite, um, a fluorite tower and a fluorite egg. Here I have a um, an adventuring elephant, another little raw piece of emerald. Um, this little tiny piece here is epido. And what I liked about it is it kind of looks like a little uh, island to me. Here I have a malachite tumble, budstone tumble, green, uh, sorry, amazonite chip bracelet, kababa jasper thumbstone, ruby and fuchsite star, strawberry quartz tower, green adventuring tumble, moss agate tumble, uh, green opal and chrysoprase piece, chrysocolla heart, and yeah, that's everything in this. Yeah, I'm making sure. Yeah, that's everything. Cool. So yeah, that is this whole section. I whoa, what focus? 
I will go to the next one once I put everything back. All right, in this uh, section right here, um, let me put the lights on. So it does add a little bit more light. Um, in real life, it's obviously a lot more, um, has more impact. So I'll start from this side. So on the this side here, I have a Labradorite skull. Up there, I have a, some artwork from Witch Casket that I stuck on. Here is a my uh, Labradorite heart heart skull. I don't have it with my um, Labradorites that are a shelf below because um, the shelf below is a little bit is full really, and I didn't want to add this to it because it's quite heavy. But not only that, the Labradorite pieces I do have at the bottom shelf here are very very blue. This is very very silver. It's almost like larvakite almost um, rather than lab. Or like at the front here kind of looks like uh, rainbow moonstone. It's really cool. It is a little bit flashy but because it's so light you don't really see it. So, unfortunately, I can't really... There are a few flashes right, right here. There we go. A few flashes there, which is lovely. Let me just put you back <laughs> ever so gently. Right here, I have... Still focus for me. Right here I have a piece of petrified wood. Petrified wood is similar to amber where it's heated up very quickly and then cooled down very quickly so it kind of solidifies and stays the way it is. That's why it's called petrified wood. And this side here is matte and then this side here is shiny. So I prefer the matte side, that's why I keep it. But it would be really really lovely to have um, furniture made out of petrified wood I think but I think it would be very expensive. I've seen petrified wood bowls on videos on the Tucson Gem show. It'd be really cool to go there one day but not now. <laughs> that would be my ultimate dream to go to the Tucson. That and the Northern Lights. So here I have two geode halves. They're part of the same geode. Got them in a market. Uh, in Northern Ireland we have two markets. We got one during Christmas time and one in spring. And when, so there is a Northern Irish seller that I get crystals from, and that's where I got that from. The same thing goes with that. Here is a an Alestial smoky quartz. An Alestial is a perfectly intact crystal on the outside, but it's cracked on the inside, kind of like a um, how a fire and ice quartz would be. Wow, it's perfect on the outside and cracked on the inside, but it has a lot of rainbows in it. And what makes this one special is it is twinned. So there's twins. So there's two growing side by side. So I like to call it my hoardor stone because it's um the wheat that we want just hanging off the edge like brown. So yeah. One of my friends knows the actor that plays Hodor Christian. So because we were talking about Game of Thrones. A couple weeks ago she said that that death killed her because she knows him in real life too so it'd be cool to actually meet him though that would be cool i might ask her one day hey you know can i meet christian <laughs> here i have a little gross court gross quartz smoky quartz cluster at the back here i have this is one of my favorite pieces got this this is a smoky half polish point and has rutile in it Whenever I first got her, I slept with her. So, yeah. I usually do sleep with crystals whenever I first get them to bond with them. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's just what I do. It helps. You know, whatever. We got. We gotta do what, do what we gotta do to make ourselves feel a wee bit better. Especially this time of the year. At the back here, I have... Smoky Quartz. Point, smoky quartz point, another little Alessio point, smoky quartz, 
smoky quartz and smoky quartz. Pretty much this whole, almost this entire shelf is just smoky quartz. But then here I have a smoky brown burke. Now I don't know, y'all gonna be able to see it. Ah, there we go. There's the anhydra. There it is. Sorry, it's very shaky, but there it is. There's the anhydra. An anhydro or anhydra is a tiny little water bubble that has been encased in the stone for millions of years. Uh, Bramberg crystals are from the Bramberg Mountains in Namibia, and they're a mixture of either amethyst, clear quartz, and smoky quartz. So it's either two of those minerals or all three mixed into one formed into one crystal, has a lot of phantom smokiness. This has a little bit of a phantom. Um, you can see right there. You see the, those little tips in the inside? That's a phantom. That's A phantom occurs whenever the crystal grows. It stops for a bit, and then it continues to grow again. So it leaves like an imprint. Here I have my little light. So I got a little light tumble right there. A raw, raw, a little light tower, a little light tower or a point. A uh, point would be a better word for it because it's really not that tall. Another little light point. A little light tumble. Here I have smoky Arkansas points. Back there I have a little year that's got a lot of rainbows I need to get small little Chris uh, sphere holders because I do have small spheres <laughs> okay bye bye okay I'll get her in a second uh, here I have another smoky cl uh, smoky cluster I was about to say cluster uh, another smoky cluster, smoky quartz freeform that look, this little part here looks like a fetus. Um, back here I've got um, a small, a smaller tower. And in the back there I've got a bigger one. Here, that's the doors to my, uh, thing that I haven't fit in yet because it'll, well, it'll fall forward if I fit them in but I'm keeping them so whenever I can install them I, you know, I still have the doors. Here I have a smoky quartz sphere. Yeah having the lights on um, really help bring out the rainbows on the camera because this is the second time I have uh, recorded this. So, and the second time is doing really well. Down here I have a Smoky Quartz DT, or double terminated. And it uh, has lovely rutile and re uh, rainbows in it. Rutile is whenever copper or titanium kind of forms these little strands inside the crystal. And then the final one I have is a Smoky Laser Point. And it's called a Laser Point because of the way it's cut, the way it's formed. Looks like a laser beam. This was green, it would look like kryptonite. So that's this whole shelf right here. Let me put little smoky girl over here, back where she belongs. So yeah. That's my smoky quartz. I think my grandmother's home. But yeah. Moving on to the next shelf. Moving on to the next shelf, we've got all of my blue crystals. So... Yeah, we're gonna start over here. So I've got a blue appetite freeform. To the right there I have a blue appetite sphere, a lapis lazuli egg, and a moss agate sphere. Um, here I have a ocean jasper palm stone that Athena used to play with when she was a kitten. Um, angel light cloud. I'm not too sure what this is. I got it with, pardon me, from my supplier as a gift. I think it's moss agate. I think. Uh, raw lapis. Uh, blue appetite heart. 
Here I have Amazonite, I think. Here I have Sodalite. And here I have... Let me open it for you. It is Mexican Fire Opal. And she needs to stay in water, otherwise she'll crumble. That is why I have her in that little container. Here I have Apophyllite. Another piece of Apophyllite. Um, here I've got a blue goldstone tumble. Blue calcite. A lapis slab. An Amazonite heart. One of my favourite crystals, actually. Um, blue Andean opal. Um, purple, purplish blue fluorite. It's a little bit more on the blue side. That's why I put it here. Uh, blue Caribbean calcite, and then two Caribbean calcite obelisks. Uh, here I've got blue fluorite heart, another apatite heart. Here I have uh, chlorite quartz. So it's just quartz with chloride in it. So it's very blue, and that's why I added it, of course, on my blue shelf. Here I have a Caribbean calcite tumble. I'm not sure what this is. I think this might also be Caribbean calcite. Um, I'll do those two last. Uh, here I have a small um, blue, half blue, half green point. Yeah, she's pretty. Had to use my nose there to do, <laughs> to make it focus. Um, here I have a small angelite pyramid, a little lapis tumble, an itty bitty fluorite DT. Really small. I've got a blue Leus agate wand, really. Um. Yeah, I guess. A little soda light seahorse. Took me a minute. I named him Jasper. Uh, two little small Amazonite hearts. I really enjoy. Salstite tumble, aquamarine tumble, an aquamarine like a slightly bigger piece of aquamarine. An aquamarine is very special to me because it's my birthstone. So yeah. Got an aquamarine alien head Grr. and a little Amazonite angel. And then these two here are both celestite or celestine. The this stone in particular is fantastic if you're dealing with grief. Um, this stone and this, as long as well as angelite. However, from my experience, I find celestite is easier to get a hold of and it's a little bit cheaper too. So, um, I had. I used both of these crystals whenever my grandfather passed away, and it really, really helped. Um, I highly, highly recommend both of these. I used this one here in particular, more so because it was smaller and I slept with her. I find it funny that she shaped like a teardrop, and it helped with grief, so. But yeah. Back when this was found, um, people used to think that it came, there was pieces of the sky that fell down because it was so blue and it matched the perfect blueness of the sky. So, yeah, Celestite or Celestine. And then this um, heart. Let me. Very gentle. Oh, she's a wee. She's heavier than I, than I remembered. Um, <laughs> I dreamt about her. I saw her in a live seal. I dreamt about, I said I wasn't going to get her. I dreamt about her that night. And I've never dreamt about a crystal that I've already seen. I've dreamt about crystals in the past. Like like going to the shop and buying them. But I've never, none of those crystals I ever saw in real life. So this Dashi's the first crystal I ever dreamed about. And I actually saw. So I got her there and then. So yeah. Okay, the next one I have. This is all of my Labradorites. Well, not all of them, clearly, because the, the little skull is up at the top there. But I've got a little pebble. I have a little tor uh, tor tortoise. 
Almost insulted you for calling you a turtle. I am sorry. With a little green booty. I have a little flashy pebble, I would say. It's not really a tumble, not really a palm stone stuck in between. Uh, here I have another little pebble. Kind of looks more like a peacock eye. Here I have a little pebble. So showing the lab might be a wee bit hard because um, the first time I recorded this, it made the lighting go really funny whenever I were, were um, tilted. So this has a lot of blue and some pink. This is one of my favorite labradorite pieces, actually. I just love that blue, that deep, deep, deep blue. That's my favorite flash on a lab. Back here I have a rough piece that has some flash in her, but I can never get the flash to show up on camera. Wait a minute. Whoa! Hey, you made a liar to me. Well done. <clears throat> here I have two towers. Ha! Two towers. Go to the rings. Ah, great movie. This is more of a very orangey, beige kind of colour. It reminded me of Ballet's uh, On Point shoes. And I have this one here. Here I have a little wand. Massage wand. Here I have a palm. Here I have a little ammonite shape that's very green. I keep saying ammonite when I'm at the very beginning because of Pokemon. <laughs> I have a little Pringle, shaped like a Pringle, see? Really flashy, a lot of green, a lot of pink, some blue, really lovely looking. Here I have another little pebble. This little thing is very special to me because my grandmother got me this piece. But as you can see, it's so small. It'll focus. But. The flash that she has. Look at that. I have a little egg. Kind of flashy. Not the flashiest, obviously. I have a little pebble. Love her, actually. She's one of my favorites. Um, here I have these two little domes. This one. And now this one. Here I have a slab. Here I've got a sphere. Put you back. have another sphere it's kind of half black half half dark half white with some red in there and I have three free forms have this girl here it looks like an oil slick she's stunning I have that beautiful blue girl at the back there and then I have this big one here. She's just beautiful. And artwork wise, I've got a little Labradorite photo, uh, a little painting, and a little artwork from Witch Casket. But that's from Moving Magic Sun, and then that's a little photo from. Keep it G on Instagram. 
so yeah that's my entire blue section so yeah let's move on to white moving on we've got the quartzes so abruptly i had to uh quickly end it because my grandmother came home but this is all as you can see my dog was very happy with it so these are all of my quartzes or uh, as white as i could possibly get crystals so we'll move over here so we have a load of light or inclusion quartz really like this one it has lovely green and mauve in there or mauve 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 <clears throat> here i have double terminated tabular quartz and a my lapis ring on top and a puffalite with two rings i received as gifts puffalite Clear quartz cluster with my labradorite ring. Another clear quartz cluster with my emerald ring on it. That I received as a gift. I don't know if it's real emerald though, but probably not. <laughs> but this one in particular, Thea broke this ages ago when she was a kitten. And it took me ages to glue it back together again. Here I have apophyllite and peach still bite. Here I have ice apophyllite. Or ice or... um snow quartz but yeah i got one two three pieces of that and one of them i received um as a giveaway here is a calcite sphere a lot of rainbows really really lovely one here i have an apophyllite cluster um an ammonite fossil and a snail shell that I found randomly one day. A puffalite pyramid. A little clear quartz uh, cluster. A selenite mountain with a rose quartz ring on it. Um, selenite tumble. Here I have just a plain clear quartz point. This is an optical calcite. Uh, clear quartz DT. Clear quartz cluster. Not too sure what this is. I think it's... Hmm, I'm not too sure what that is. Um, it's a sort of quartz. A uh, quartz cluster. A little quartz um, tumble or a little pebble. Another clear quartz cluster here. I like clusters that are very jagged and sword like. Here I have a Herkimer diamond from Herkimer, New York. That's where they're from. And they look like diamonds, but they're not. It's actually um, actually quartz. So here I have two geode halves. There I have an apophyllite cluster. Here I have another geode half. Here I have a clear quartz tower. A lot of rainbows. Another quartz cluster. Another larger geode, uh, not geode, quartz tower. Here I have a clear quartz video. Uh, Sphere. Here I have another clear quartz cluster. Another cluster. I think this cluster here is Bulgarian needle quartz with pyrite, if I remember correctly. This one is white amethyst with citrine phantoms. Here 
Here I have another little quartz point. A lot of rainbows in her. Here I have a clear quartz point cluster, another cluster, this point here, which I don't know what the inclusion is, but looks pretty cool. Here I have a clear quartz geode, along with a bit that broke off, another clear quartz, small little cluster, and a teeny tiny clear quartz. Um, point, I'd say. So that's my, that's the whole of my clear quartzes. So yeah, we'll move on to the next shelf. So this section here is all of my purple crystals. So I'll go through them as much as I can. So at the back here I have a clear quartz cluster, a point, this is a chevron amethyst point, and then to the left there is Bahia amethyst. Down there is a clear quartz cluster, clear quartz amethyst cluster, another amethyst cluster. Here I have a an agate skull. At the front here I have a little titanium aura quartz, some fluorite, a pitalite heart, some smaller points. Uh, Phosphor Siderite Cloud, Clear Quartz Cluster, uh, <laughs> Amethyst Cluster, a uh, little Amethyst Point, another raw Amethyst. Here I have Fluorite. Here I have a Super 7. Super 7 consists of seven different crystals, and the crystals are Smoky Quartz, Amethyst, Clear Quartz, Rutile, Lipidochrosite. Genocide, I think, and then another one that I can never ever remember. Another point, another darker cluster. This is a double, like a twin point. Uh, here I have, I think this is spirit quartz. It was never labeled, but it looks like spirit quartz. Here I have a uh, an amethyst DT. An amethyst cluster. This is a Mukai Jasper tumble. An amethyst moon. Here I have spirit quartz. Um, this is a sphere. Hold it up to the light. No, you can't really see. I really, really love her. Another little point in this baggie, I've got um, little teeny tiny fluorite spheres. That is fluorite, amethyst cluster, little dream amethyst sphere, spirit quartz, spirit quartz, spirit quartz, spirit quartz, spirit quartz. Here I've got a pit of light freeform. Um, on the right there I have a purple fluorite or lilac fluorite. In the middle is a lipidolite tower. On the right there is an amethyst obelisk. Really, really like this obelisk. She's very dark, very gemmy. We have another spirit quartz, flower, amethyst, amethyst cluster, amethyst cluster hearts, more clusters. Here I have a little amethyst um, dolphin. Here I've got a little fluorite um, flower, some ships, 
an aura moon, a little fluorite cube. Those most awesome rainbows. Right there is a brown berg, smoky brown berg amethyst. Is she focus? No, she's not really focusing. Nope, <laughs> she refuses to focus. But here I have a um, Agate Jersey Star on Sun. Some more um, points right here. Uh, I have a little Jersey Sphere, or not Jersey Sphere, sphere uh, Geode Sphere. This is a little amethyst root, a petalite moon, a little star sapphire, and a mini agate sphere, a little amethyst point, an agate unicorn, an amethyst slice, um, an agate geode mountain, and a little amethyst flower. So that is everything I have on this shelf. If we move down one, this is uh, an expansion of my purple shelf, but I obviously couldn't fit it all. So back here I have uh, an agate, not agate, an amethyst geode sphere, a large amethyst cluster, an agate aura snail. Here I have a Madagascan quartz cluster. Shouldn't actually be here since it's not purple, but I don't know where to put it, where else to put it at the moment. So, but she's really, really beautiful. I've had my iron knot piece for a while now. Uh, a amethyst geode tower, an agate slash amethyst sphere. Right there, I have um, black amethyst chunk. Here I have an Aura Druzy Turtle. Haven't named her yet, or him. And then this baby here is called Broken Toe Joe. Uh, the seller it came to her broken and she glued his toe back together. As you can see. But I fell in love with him. And so I named him Broken Toe Joe. And she had Broken Tojo on the invoice as well, so. she's so, He's very cute. He's one of my favourites. And he's got a big belly. Big lovely geode belly. So, that's everything I have on this shelf. It doesn't really have a lot on it. But yeah, it's got a lot of heavier crystals though. So, I wanted it to be um, even. So, I didn't want it, anything breaking on me. So, yeah. I, we have two shelves to go. So, this shelf here... So all of my more orangey crystals, my more warm toned crystals. So we'll start back here. So back here we've got an agate slice, a Botswana agate slice, an agate geode. I think this is tangerine quartz or orange quartz, I'm not too sure. Um, we've got a little agate elephant. If she'll focus, but her my grandmother named her Nelly. Here we've got pyrite cluster, a skull and a cloud, and then here we have a pyrite tumble. Here we've got a shamanic quartz. Shamanic quartzes, if I remember correctly, have fluorite, hematite, chlorite. Um quartz in there as well and then here we have this one which i'll show down here since i have nothing on this shelf whatsoever but this one here it's a lot of um this is a phantom quartz i think what i like about it is it has this really cool looking kind of flame this really cool orangish 
inclusion that looks like a candle flame and a lot of lovely rainbows. So that is that one. Here I've got a Chinese quartz cluster that I will not touch because it might break. Another Chinese quartz cluster that kind of looks like the Rift in Swords. Here I have a Citrine Spirit Quartz, Golden Healer Quartz, Geode Half, Honey Calcite, Tumble, Sodalite Tumble, Citrine, Citrine, Citrine with Chlorite Phantoms, another Citrine. This one's very special to me because I got her for my birthday. I had my eye on her last year and I said to myself if it was still available in March I'd get her and she was. Here I have a red hematite uh, cluster, a smoky quartz phantom and as you can see the phantom, the little triangle. Not too sure what this is. Um. <laughs> I can't remember what this is. Um, I think it's a golden healer quartz. Just it has a lot of quartz in it. More clear quartz. So yeah, really pretty. And I have another golden healer quartz. The big citrine freeform with some lovely rainbows and some new tile in her. Here I have a very large garnet, which whenever I saw her I needed her because I don't... I only have that tiny garnet there and a ruby, but she is stunning. Very unique and I didn't have anything like her in my collection, so... Whoa! Sorry, I was too, I was too rough with you, my dear. Sorry. Um... To front here I have rooster tail quartz or amphibole quartz, a little tiny carnelian fishy, itty bitty, uh, a root golden rutile quartz piece, carnelian um, tumble, golden healer tumble, golden rutile point, See her rutile. Back here I've got amphibole quartz, rooster tail quartz. Here I have on the, on the left crazy lias agate, sunstone, smoky citrine and a normal citrine. Here I have an amber sphere. She'll, she'll focus. But yeah, amber is fossilized tree sap. Really, really pretty. And here we have a Lemurian with some rutile. It'll focus for me. Or not. Here we go. Here we've got some things I want in a giveaway. That doesn't include this little carnelian sphere, but I have a little carnelian sphere. And then I have a an agate slice, a goldstone bracelet, and a heated citrine point. Here, I think this is Jasper Tumble. Looks like a cloud. Mahogany Obsidian. Milkite Jasper. Ordinary Owl Agate Tumble. Not sure. Got this in a uh, witch casket. Here I have all of my small points. On the right, on the right, on the left I have a citrine. Here I have a little rutile. Here is a amphibole. And then here is a lipidocrosite. Love her. I love her, um... Her inclusions and her sparkle. Let me. 
Bring her down. She's very small. She's small but mighty. I really, really love that, that one in particular. But she's so tiny. She's so tiny. Here I have um, two uh, dragon skulls. I have Mukai Jasper and Tiger Eye. Here I have a Agate Moon Geode. Here I have... Not Agate Moon Geode, Agate Moon Druzy Cluster. Uh, this is a double terminated red hematite. Um, a carnelian sphere. Um, this is a honey calcite sphere. Lemon calcite sphere or yellow calcite sphere. Um, lemon quartz. Back there is a green opal. Here is a florid owl. It looks like a gummy. And then here is a little light sphere. So that's everything I have on this shelf. And yeah, I'll show you the final shelf in a couple of seconds. So the last shelf I have at the very bottom it has all of my pink crystals. So on the right here, I have a, a pink ocean jasper sphere with on top of my pink uh, elephant stand. Here I have a pink amethyst cloud, pink amethyst mountain, pink amethyst freestanding piece. Here I have a large, tall um, rose quartz tower that she is, I think, 24 centimeters, which is why they used to be up here, in this empty one here, but now she's down here because she will not fit. Here I have two. Uh, pink opal spheres, so, um, a darker one and a lighter one, a rose quartz freeform, rose quartz chunky tower, a slab, like a half polished slab, and a large sphere. I think she's about two kilos, which is another reason why she's down here. Don't want to run the risk of the, um, of any of the shelves just going <laughs> here I have a rose quartz sphere um, I have another one which is a star and you can see the star uh, I have another really smaller sphere right here which is also a star rose quartz um, that way you here I have two I have three uh, rose quartz towers down here. There's a little pink lithium quartz Really pretty piece um, Two pink amethyst clusters little flower I get mini sphere um, Rose quartz tumble bigger rose quartz tumble a mangano calcite Skull that glows under UV. I'll show you her at the end and a little um, rose quartz pebble. Let me show you a little bit more close up the pieces of amethyst. Another piece of amethyst, pink amethyst. Um, here I have a pink, uh, another rose quartz chunky tower. A flower agate pebble, a rose quartz wand pink amethyst wand, which is one of my favourites because she's so sparkly. Just really stunning. Um, a, a flower I get point. A little flower I get mushroom. And a little cube. And then here I have a little teeny tiny DT. This quartz DT. And then here I have a small um strawberry quartz nine-tailed fox and as you can see it's called strawberry quartz because it kind of looks like little seeds inside little strawberry seeds here i have a um peach selenite uh just raw piece here i have a pink tourmaline pebble 
And then the last pink crystal I have is this rhodochrosite um, cloud. I've never been attracted to rhodochrosite until I saw this cloud. But yeah, that is everything. Let me show you real quick the um, the glowy of the uh, the skull. That's if it'll cooperate with me. So this is what it looks like normally. I want to get my torch. And as you can see, down the middle there, she has this really lovely glow. So, that's really cool. How it works like that. It's really cool. I really love it. One of the cooler things. So, yeah. That is my entire collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you in my next video. I hope you really, really liked it. And what will focus. Yeah, so that's my entire collection. Yeah, I hope you really liked it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, everybody.